You may know him as that funny ginger nut and radio raconteur, but you may not know that Andrew Lumsden, aka Radar, is also an intrepid documentary maker. He's already done a tour of duty in Timor and last Christmas he travelled to Palestine. More recently he spent a couple of weeks in Pahrump, Nevada, working on a new documentary. And while he was there he filed this story for EML. Well we came here primarily to cover the election but we've discovered that there's a little more to Pahrump than meets the eye. We're on the Indeed, in this sunny mountain town patriotism vies with prostitution for the attention of the populace. So while locals queue to gawp at electoral porn, mesmerised by screens which they pour like two-bit whores, I decide there's only so much electoral voyeurism that one man can handle before he seeks a little something else. So, like the better clients at the Bordellos, night comes swiftly in Pahrump, and we find ourselves not in the satin arms of an overpriced sex filly, but in the car, in the desert, at night. We're, uh currently heading up a long gravel road to following a rather large Humvee driven by a man called Richard who we met by chance or was it chance we're heading up into the hills to uh, see Richard record his television program out there uh, at least that's what he's told us ladies and gentlemen we're out there a life-threatening skin infection resistant to most antibiotics has now jumped from years of confinement in New York City hospitals. Hundreds, possibly thousands of rats, some weighing up to three pounds and a foot long, have invaded a southern Kentucky I'm also town. what is called a multi-generational abductee, which means other family members of mine are also abductees. Out there is a television program that its responsibility seems to be uh, can you describe for our viewers tonight what you went through uh, on one of the uh, most significant abductions? Providing news and information that the major networks are simply too afraid to discuss or talk about. The University of Florida scientist has created a living brain of cultured rat cells that can fly an F-22 jet fighter. Richard and Kate cohabitating televisual co-hosts of a show where it isn't only the stench of conspiracy that permeates the ozonized ear. It's kind of, it's just fresh, it's just fresh. Yeah. Tonight's guest, a woman who claims to have been a sex slave to a host of former presidents. There. Transformation of America. This lady is just a few weeks, well, about two weeks younger than I am. She was born in Muskegon, Michigan. You can't believe what she's gone through her whole life. Partly at the hands of our current vice president. The interest in the topics I've always had. When I was 10 years old, I saw my first UFO. So I was always a little different and had different ways of thinking than other kids, than other people. This book contains ex sexually explicit quotes and irrefutable anatomical details of perpetrators and is therefore recommended for mature audiences only. Crikey, it's yeah. racy. We have had uh, people on the show who are abductees, um, who have said that they have been abducted by lizard people or that they were sexually molested by lizards. Or reptilians. Or reptilians, some kind. Kathy, when you were being molested and that sort of thing, did they ever bring that illusion to you during that process? I'm trying to find a racy part. Here I've got Senator Bird's plan for building my physical endurance through Catholic Central's coaching methods oh. proved successful for allowing me to survive his intensely tortuous sexual perversions. She was made, her, when she was a little girl, her daddy starred her in a, a, a film with a dog. Oh, really? Oh, the man is really sick. Totally. I, I guess we're not, we're not thinking Lassie. No, Happy, no. Go and find help. <laughs> no. Oh. No. We're talking bestiality. Oh. All the names that you just mentioned were involved in the MK Ultra program. Absolutely. A local politician by the name of Gerald Ford was actually sanctioning the local Michigan Mafia child pornography ring. Since my father had agreed to sell me into MK Ultra mind control, um, my my victimization in MK Ultra rose proportionately to Gerald Ford's political career. I mean, she names names, as you heard, yeah. and the reason she can name names and not and, sued. and still be alive is because those people can't sue her. Well, why not? Because it's true. Because it's She's true. Not defamation. Kathy, were there other presidents involved besides Gerald Ford? 
Oh, absolutely. I, I'm not uh, aware of any president that, that hasn't been involved or, or at least aware of it. Um, other than Jimmy Carter, he certainly wasn't one that, that I was exposed to, but uh, numerous presidents, especially George Bush Sr. Is there anything in your background or understanding that would indicate that perhaps our current president is under mind control? Absolutely. George Bush Jr. is certainly a, a prime example of what mind control looks like. That's, a, that's an amazing story. This is the brand new book, Access Denied for Reasons of National Security. Our guests are Mark Phillips and Kathy O'Brien. You're watching out there, and we'll be back right after this. Is there anything that ever comes up on the show where you go, I, don't, I just don't believe this? Yes, I have. <clears throat> Uh, very few things. Yeah, we do our homework on the guests. So we, uh, we've had abductees on the program. We've had um, people who've been on board spaceships. And what's the point of not believing them? It's not for me to decide whether they're right or wrong. You're just a vehicle. Yeah. Though I know from experience that... Uh, some of their stories could be dead on. Most of their stories. Still to come, it's a Queer Eye red carpet celebrity catastrophe on Auckland's Fire Day.